Hey guys, it's me and YSC Einstein from the Florida New York Stock Exchange. We are in a spectacular situation at the moment. Dow Jones Industrial Average off 40 points, still hanging around the 21,000 level. Russell up an odd lot. Spiders down an odd lot. Gold down six, oil down six. What's significant is we did hit all-time highs, 2,400 and higher, 2,420 in the S&P and NASDAQ today. That's significant. We did pause and pull back from those levels for sure, for sure, for sure. We've tried to get through that. We actually got through it for a moment and then sold off. Net, net, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? What's significant again about today inside Verstoff, NYSC Einstein, great to be here celebrating another beautiful day with you in May on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Markets in turmoil, not, eh. Markets that never disappoint. NYSC Einstein never disappoints you. I'll always give you a good explanation of what I see here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. VIX at 10-year lows. What's that all about? So we've got a swamp. We've got some swirling whirlpools going on, right? We've got an ocean full of information, of news, of situations that has been swirling around for a while. And we always talk about it. This market will engage one or another things. Sometimes it won't gain anything. It's had a little bit of a period where it's not engaging negative with Mr. Trump. It's been engaging oil, it's been engaging geopolitical, it's been engaging North Korea, it's been engaging all this different stuff. But there's a lot on the table. There's jobs, there's interest rates, there's the geopolitical madness, there's Europe, there's Brexit, there's France, there's Trump, there's health care, there's taxes, there's a lot going on. Okay? Our reaction and engagement as a marketplace to each one of these things is basically headline driven. What's been going on in the last day or so is we've got a checklist that we've been checking it off. Okay, so the interest rate raise uh, is on the table. Economic data has been significant to show that we can definitely sustain that. So that's a check. Jobs numbers off the table, that's a check. Second tranche of Earnings that been, have been significant and positive are off the table. That's a check. Okay. Healthcare bill, not completely done, but in its first stages of being done, that's done. That's a check. We know what's going on in England. That's a check. France election is done. That's a check. Do we really care what's going on with Trump and Russia and emails and hacking? I don't think the market really cares. So what do we have? We have a strong, solid market that's consolidating at a high technical level, okay? We have money in the sidelines ready to get in and with a shopping list into this marketplace. We've had reasonably good earnings this quarter. We've got all these things that are, while they're not completed and we don't really know the results, we are able to check them off the list for the immediate time being. So net net at the end of the day, the volatility, the VIX index, the fear index is off the table. You know, look, today it came back, you know, that's how that's my posturing on the day. What did happen late in the afternoon today? Market sold off 50 points. Why? Because some news came out about North Korea and nuclear testing and missiles and all that stuff. So net net at the end of the day, all these little bits of my forensic breakdown of what's going on in the market can only be short term. The VIX at a low, I think that's short term. Market holding solid, I think that's long term. I guarantee you there'll be a headline in the next couple of days that will either tell to take this market lower or higher. Net, net, my gut is the consolidation and the firmness and the technicals of this thing are strong. I think the market's able to sustain an interest rate in June. I think earnings have been good and market seems fine. That's what I got for today. It's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We'll see what goes on. Anything can happen here, guys. We're in new rule mode. Anything can happen. But I know that we're not going to see this market break down in a huge, huge way. I think we're solid for today.